My name is Anne Giwa Amo. I'm a solicitor and the author of my novel Shade. I first discovered that Chimamanda Adichie had copied Shade in 2013 when I saw a poster in London advertising the film Half of Yellow Sun. The poster depicted a love story between a mixed race woman, played by Thandi Newton, and an Igbo man, played by Chiwetel Ijiafo, set in Nigeria Biafra. As this was the original story of Shade, it provoked me to purchase a copy of Half Yellow Sun. On receiving the book, I found that the front cover of Half Yellow Sun was similar to Shade. They both had a profile picture of a young African woman with the colors of the Biafran flag, excluding green. On reading Half of Yellow Sun, I discovered that it was a rewrite of Shade, which was misattributed to an Igbo woman, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. In this video, I will put forward evidence to show that after Heinemann Nigeria published Shade in 1999, Chinua Achebe contacted Chimamanda Adichie, who started to work on the infringing novel with the assistance of three editors. In 1992, I began to write my novel, which I initially entitled The Human Sacrifice. I interviewed many people, including Dr. Patrick Davis, who had worked in Biafran propaganda with the late Nigerian broadcaster, writer and publisher, Chinua Achebe. On completing my manuscript, I sent it out to a number of publishing houses and I received positive reviews. However, I was told that there was a lack of market for work by African writers. In 1995, I sent my manuscript to Heinemann Educational Books in the UK. Chinua Achebe had been a founding editor of the African Writers Series established to promote work by African writers. I was provided with two editors' reports by Victoria Poet Ayers and Rita Omonigbo, recommending my manuscript for publication under the African Writers Series. I worked with the editors and made the recommended changes, which included changing my title from Human Sacrifice to Shade, which was the name of the heroine in my novel. The completed manuscript was sent to the series editor, Abdul Razak Gurna, for a final decision. And after many months of waiting, I was informed that he had decided not to publish due to a drop in demand for books in the African Writers series. As Chinua Achebe had set up an independent publishing house in Nigeria, using the name Heinemann Educational Books, Nigeria Limited, it was suggested that I sent my work to Nigeria. Following the positive reviews, I decided to self-publish. In 1996, I asserted my right to be identified as the author of Shade in accordance with the Copyright Design and Patents Act in the UK. I submitted a copy of Shade at the British Library. My book was launched at the Africa Centre in London. I was interviewed by the BBC World Service and Shade was reviewed by over 20 magazines and newspapers. In 1998, I sent a copy of my manuscript to Heinemann Educational Books Nigeria, where Chinua Achebe sat on the board of directors as the main decision maker. Olawepo Sogo, an employee at Heinemann, asked me to put forward a subtitle for the Nigerian edition, and I suggested The Rising Sun or United We Stand. I was told by Olawepo Sogo that Professor Achebe read and accepted Shade for publication at senior secondary school level. In 1999, Shade was published by Heinemann to be sold in Nigeria under the subtitle Shade United We Stand. I granted Heinemann a 20-year license, which expired in 2019. The license required my written permission before any adaptation could be made to Shade.
Chimamanda claims to have carried out her research for Half the Yellow Sun at the British Library in London, where I had submitted Shadi. But I think there are probably things in the archives that um, libraries here, I'm sure. Um, I know that when I was researching, um, when I was researching Half of Yellow Sun, I, there were things at the British Library that I looked at. I mean, that's not, that's not pre-colonial, but still. Due to the close relationship between the Achebe and Dichi families, coupled with the fact that Chimamanda had no experience of the Civil War, as she was born in 1977, questions have been asked about the true role Chinua Achebe played in Chimamanda's writing and her rapid rise to fame. As observed by Andrea in Book Live, in a country with a population of 170 million, it is an extraordinary coincidence that Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie grew up in the house that had once belonged to Chinua Achebe Adichie. His father worked at the University of Nigeria. In fact, he became Nigeria's first professor of statistics in 1976. Achebe had taught at the same institution in the early 1970s, and at one point, the Adichie family moved into the campus accommodation that had been vacated by the Achebes. The two men were friends. When Chinu Achebe left the university, he handed over his house to Professor Adichie. In the Premium Times article entitled Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, living in the same house with Achebe, Niru Ode gives Chimamanda the opportunity to clear the air about whether Achebe had any role to play in her writing, aside just being one of her influences, and perhaps put to rest the ghost of the father of the African novel that seems to haunt her works. During the interview with the Premium Times, Chimamanda stated that following the publication of her first novel, Purple Hibiscus, Professor Achebe wanted to arrange a meeting with her. She stated, After my first novel was published, I received an email from his son. My father has just read your novel and liked it very much. He wants you to call him at this number. One of Achebe's sons, Ikechuku Achebe, is an alternate director to the late Achebe at HEBN Publishers PLC, a company taking over from the liquidated Heinemann Educational Books Nigeria PLC. Chimamanda confirmed that after her communication with Achebe, she started working on the infringing novel Half of Yellow Sun with the assistance of three editors, Mitzi Angel, Anjali Singh and Robin Dessa. When they had completed Half of Yellow Sun, Chimamanda confirms that one of her editors took the manuscript to Chinua Achebe for his approval and endorsement. My editor sent Achebe a manuscript of my second novel. One afternoon she called. Chimamanda, are you sitting down? I have wonderful news. She read me the blurb Achebe had just sent her. We do not usually associate wisdom with beginners, but here is a new writer endowed with the gift of ancient storytellers. Adichie knows what is at stake and what to do about it. She is fearless or she would not have taken on the intimidating horror of Nigeria's civil war. Adichie came almost fully made Achebe authorized the use of one of his Biafran poems in Half of the Yellow Sun, entitling him to royalties, and he provided a blurb. His agents, the Wiley Agency, put Chimamanda on their books to pay her royalties on the infringing work. Although Chimamanda denied reading Shade, she has admitted in her address to Harvard class of 2018 that she is a routine liar. So before I tell you about not lying, I must first admit to lying. 
I routinely lie about my height, even at the doctor's office. In Lagos, when I'm meeting friends for lunch, I lie about being stuck in traffic when I'm really still at home, only just getting dressed. Now, there are other lies. Sadly, however, I cannot tell you about them without having to kill you afterwards. <laughs> but what I know is that I have always felt my best and done my best when I veer toward truth, when I don't lie. And the biggest regrets of my life are of those times when I did not have the courage to embrace the truth. Now, telling the truth does not mean that everything will work out. Actually, it sometimes doesn't. I'm not asking you to tell the truth because it will always work out, but because you will sleep well at night. And there is nothing more beautiful than to wake up every day holding in your hand the full measure of your integrity. I challenge Chimamanda to prove that she wrote half the Yellow Sun by publishing her email correspondence with Achebe, publishing the original manuscript she sent to the editors, and by publishing the editors' reviews. It is a basic principle of natural justice that no one should profit from stealing another person's work. Chimamanda Adichie should not be allowed to reap where she did not sow simply because she was chosen by Chinua Achebe to take over from him. I'm urging those that seek the truth to click on the links below where you'll find a detailed breakdown of the similarities between Shade and Half the Yellow Sun. Armed with this evidence, ask Chimamanda to explain how it is that Shade permeates Half of the Yellow Sun. Stand against this fraud Refuse to deal with Chimamanda Adichie or her agents. Refuse to distribute half of Yellow Sun. Refuse to sell it. Refuse to read it or teach it in schools and universities. It is time for Chimamanda to tell the truth and put to rest the ghost of the father of the African novel that haunts her work. Thank you for watching. <laughs>